Today, we're gonna have a fun day. So I did my due diligence. <laughs> Are we having fun yet? <laughs> I am. So I did my due diligence trying to figure out carbides, knives, what does the same chunk of wood or a similar chunk of wood even look like with knives on the same head, same carrier, same track machine? And then what do the carbides leave? I know, and everyone else does, carbides are slower than knives. That's not what I'm after. I want to know, will these new carbides with this new head with that profile, is it going to suck up material off the ground, pull a vacuum in there? Is it going to chip it up to uh, some sort of a mulch that will pass at least what I think is acceptable? So we're gonna have a fun day. We're gonna swap out all these knives. We're gonna install all new carbides and we're gonna hit some wood and we're gonna compare it, knives versus carbides. See what kind of balance, see what kind of results, see what kind of finish, see what kind of mulch we get. I'm gonna have fun, stick around. Yeah. That's how, what usually people do with that, they only shave half of it. They go about the length of the machine and they bag drag. That way it'll not gonna stall. Yeah. That's why like an ash like that, it's what, when you try to mug the whole thing, that's too much. Sure. You're gonna gain speed if you do that there, you know, and bag drag. Yeah. That does a beautiful cut though. I'm telling you. Whew. Sawmill, yeah. Those are sharp teeth. I mean, look at the wood chips. I know. Yeah. This is, this is almost sanded. I mean, you, you can run your hand across that surfboard. Um, ash, ash is a hard wood. Um, and it just disintegrated this so easily, so, so quickly. Hey, something real quick. So when we were with Vic, um you know life happens family kids uh i had to go into dad mode one thing that i didn't get to i guess showcase but i really thought it was kind of important at least when i was purchasing a, a mulcher head so when i wanted to find a head the vacuum the suction was also a very big uh selling point for me and i, and I want to show you that right here You'll see very little wood chips here, and they're all sprayed over there. And that's exactly what I was hoping this unit would do. You'll even notice it cut the grass. So we skimmed the grass. So I thought this area was very important to kind of uh, showcase in case someone was thinking, you know, hey, how, how well does the Shear-X suck up the debris off the ground and send it to its maker. Um, I, I can't figure out another, a better way to show it other than this is all green grass. <laughs> this mulcher will mow your residential grass if you want it to. If it's even on the surface, it'll pick it up, it'll mulch it, it'll even cut your grass. That's how much suction power it has.
on today's episode, we're gonna mulch this tree with carbide knives. We're gonna compare and contrast knives and carbides. Here we go. I'd say that's pretty neat, uh, but to be expected, the, the carbide one, it just deep grooves all through it, just ripped and shredded, just shredded apart, where the knives, almost like a planer, like a woodworker's planer went through it. No slivers, smooth, nice, almost a nice finish coming right through where the knives are and the carbides just shredding destruction. The difference in as left material just strips, just ripped apart. We did find, we may have back dragged a little bit with uh, the carbides and got a little bit of mulch, but that's, that's like a, a, a single shred, double shredded uh, mulch there are some fine pieces in it, but it's strands. The difference in the two piles, it, it's, it's night and day. It, and, it, and, and it's to it be expected and it's kind of cool, but it's also neat to see a side by side. I've done, you know, uh, carbide mulching. You know, I got videos of it last year um very very same similar processed results uh we run we run knives on the fecon it, it's pretty cool to see one attachment and how you can completely change the processed material between an, uh, a sharp knife it just sees aggressive mean brutal hammers is what they're referred to quite on regularly just just beating the tree apart with big blows and just using that TL12's horsepower to uh, to shred up a tree where you know the the knives um it, it's a lot more finished pretty cool so i think it's pretty interesting to see the different stages or throughout the life cycle of processing wood. So this is your final stage with knives. This is, you know, somewhere in your final stage with the carbides. We stopped the processing of material halfway through and made these, you know, banana peels, as well as, you know, some of the stringy mulch. Now in a production work setting, there, there's gonna be, you know, the a blended style here. So, you know, maybe You'll find that, you know, in an acre or it'd be some variation, you know, thereof. Uh, but, but you get the idea. So, you know, your final finished mulch, your kind of final finished mulch with carbides, banana peels, and some strings. I thought that was kind of neat. And if you have young kids, how can you not play the song in your head? It's raining tacos from out of the sky tacos.
No need to ask why. In Minnesota, our woods and forests are being overtaken by this invasive species called buckthorn. Part of combating buckthorn is not just cutting it, but trying to subsoil and break up the root system and the stumps. Buckthorn grows by rhizomes and will spread by the root system. Having a carbide mulcher head in subsoiling doesn't eradicate the buckthorn, but it does help. Hey, I'm Justin. I'm the bulldog. If you see me doing it, <laughs> you can make a mess probably better than me. Cheers from the bulldog, guys.